Alright guys, I got I'm gonna pause the gaming for just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to interrupt out of all of your fun for just five seconds to bring you an amazing man. This is Mr. Vince Joseph from Self Protection Systems, and he was nice enough to come out today to talk a little bit about protecting yourself from bullies. So I'm gonna give it to him. Thank you, Crimson. Thank you uh, for inviting me. Um, now, bullying, question for whoever's dealt with it or seen it dealt with Are bullies looking for a fight? Yes or no question? No. Bullies don't want to fight. Bullies, they want attention. They're, by their very nature, they're predators. So a fight implies a mutual struggle. I hit him, he hits me, I hit him. That's not what a bully wants. A bully wants domination. A bully wants to control. So, what do they look for? What does a bully look for? They look for someone who looks like an easy target, who looks like they could be taken advantage of. So, one of the best ways to deal with a bully is just being confident. Be confident in yourself. Be comfortable in your own skin. My friend Vinny here was the big bully, okay, and he's sitting around waiting for a victim to come by. What looks more like an attractive, what looks like a more attractive victim? Okay, if I walk by him, my head is down, or, go on, boy. Who looks more confident in their own skin? What's up? Do you look more, I look more confident like this? Yeah, the one who looked like more of a target, right? So this, you know, it's, now notice I'm not challenging. Okay, I'm not walking by him doing that. It's completely different. There's a difference between being confident and being aggressive. Confident, shoulders back, back straight, eye contact. I don't want to have Aware, also. Always looking around. I drive my wife crazy whenever I'm out in public because my eyes never stay in one spot. Everywhere we're going, Vinny here's been friends with me for two decades now. We'll tell you the same thing. Anytime we go anywhere, come my eyes are always moving. I want to know who's behind me, I want to know who's in front of me, I want to know what's going on around me. Okay, bullies don't want someone who's aware of their surroundings. They want, they want someone who's not paying attention, head down, think you're buried in your phone. Okay, now I'm much more attractive. Who here has ever, uh, you don't have to go into specifics, but, specifically, but who here has ever had an issue with a bully in the past? Okay. Um, I do not, just because I've sought self protection systems and self defense teacher, that doesn't mean I advocate violence. Okay. 90% of what I do involves avoiding confrontation, avoiding by being assertive, using what I call verbal judo. Which means just trying to de-escalate the situation verbally. Okay. Um, so we're going to run through a quick little scenario. Um, just for, um, Raz is going to play the part now. It's whenever you're dealing with an aggressive person, bully, non-bully. There's two different dynamics. Okay. You can be dealing with a good person who's having a bad day, and you just happen to be in their way. Or you can be dealing with the person that's looking for a bad. Those are two different things, two different dynamics. So we're going to run through each of those. And I'm going to get into what's called, what we call our passive stance, which is the only fighting stance that we use. Okay, if anyone's ever taken a traditional karate class, you've probably seen all kinds of things. Like this. We don't do any of that. Our fighting stance is this. So I'm going to stay in this passive stance. And we're going to run through both of those dynamics. Okay. First thing is going to be... A good person who's just having a bad day, he's still going to take it out on someone. I just have to be in. The dynamic there is I can actually defuse that. A person who's in that sort of mental state, you can de escalate. Then we're going to run through the other one, which there is no de escalation. He's just looking for a victim, and I'm the one he picks. Okay, so the first one is um, just a good person having a bad day. Yo, what is your problem? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see me? No, I didn't see me. I was standing there. I'm real sorry. I, I, I was in my own world. I had a fight in my life today. I don't, I don't mean it. I apologize. Thank you. 
okay? Very simple. Now you'll notice, did anybody pay attention where my eyes were when I was talking to him? I wasn't looking at his eyes, I wasn't making eye contact. I was watching here. Anytime somebody approaches you, yeah, you're going to hear a lot of martial artists say the answer is in the eyes, which is absolute nonsense. Because his eyes can't hurt me. His hands can hurt me. So when, I'm, when someone approaches into my circle, I'm maintaining the distance, keeping it, I'm not getting into any of this. It's like the truth of yourself. Stay nice and passive, and I'm watching his shoulders, I'm watching his hands, I'm watching his belt line, I want to make sure if any, so if any threat comes to me, it's going to come from me. Okay. And, and if it doesn't, it's a Okay, so we're going to run through some we'll about two. Right. The bad person looking for a victim. Yeah. Okay. Come here. Thank you. Talk to you for a minute. Talk to you. Come here. What's the matter? Where are you going? Where are you going? Can you? Who's that? That's the other thing. Is once you realize, okay, I can't de-escalate this. There's nothing I'm going to do that's going to. There's nothing I'm going to say or do that's going to defuse the situation. We teach do unto him before he does unto you. So as soon as. As soon as we got into that dynamic and I realized, okay, I don't like where this is going, he's backing me into the corner, I don't like what I can see what I'm seeing here, it's time for me to make a move. And the way we teach that in class is once you feel that, just touch the person's face. That's all we do. I don't know. I want to go back. Just reach out and touch the face. I saw it, but you got a line for me. And from there, I mean, if it's a real one, I've got everything else that I need. So that's why we say just touch the face. Um, I can continue with other stuff. Would anybody like to run through one of those scenarios? Would anyone like to try it? Would you pick it? Come on out. Okay. I have no idea what he's going to say. But what's going to happen is he's going to walk. <laughs> he's going to walk up to you. He's going to be aggressive. He's going to be a bad guy looking for a I want you to do two things. One, as soon as you approach the bar, hands up nice and down. As soon as you feel, oh crap, I can't walk out on this. I just want you to take your fingers last week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I might let you hold up my cookie, so I can't. Okay. I fill up one beer, so I think we're in this space. Let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Here it is. There it is. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, they should be like and this honestly would be 90% of the class. Okay. It's all about the de-escalation, the verbal judo, um, being aware of your surroundings, being comfortable in your own skin. You follow that, you're defeating 90% of the class that you're going to why we stand like this? Anyone know the benefits of this? Defense and offense. What does this look like? If you were just like, if you, we live in the digital age. Everyone has cameras. Everyone has cell has a video cameras. Actually. So, um, what does this look like? Okay. What do I look like? Do I look like I'm an aggressor? Yeah, I look like I'm being an aggressor. No, no, no. This one. Anyone watching this can say, this one, this one, I want to go over. This guy was picking up. But at the same time, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, there's a reason why I have to go We still have one guy that's still in the water. My hands are all right here. As soon as this happens, there is no way I'm going to be in the water and I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to be in the water. I and every time I did, I'm doing this now because yeah, we don't have any protective gear on. 
So I'm just throwing this hand here to see if Realistically, every one of those is a shot right from the right That's our bread and butter. And it's an open strike. <laughs> so, so, so for witnesses, whether it's a schoolyard, whether it's you know a police officer, whether it's a security officer, I'm not punching. My hand is not closed. It looks a lot better when they go to review the video. And this was just a one shot. And they just said, ah, you scared me. I, I, I don't know. I, just, I, I don't know how to play. I don't know, officer. You know, and that is the num number one target we always catch. Finger in the eye. I don't care what he can bench press. I don't care what his deadlift maximum maximum is. As soon as I put a finger in his eye and disconnect, Marco holds. He can't hurt what he cannot see. Um, are there, is there any particular scenario, situation anybody wants to remember? I don't know. Multiple people? Okay. Be the follow up in that situation. I actually have an entire self defense program. So, um, being aware is, like I said, 95, 98 percent. I'm feeling hurt now. Um, <coughs> it's 98. So as soon as you realize I got a couple of guys, it's time to get off the floor. It's time to get off the show floor. It's time to find the security is there. It's time to find a friend. These couple of guys who follow my ground. You know, private you know, security officer, whatever it might be. I always say, never walk the trick. The trick isn't being able to walk into the police box. Any fool can do that. The trick is being able to walk back out. Once you realize, okay, I have And that's something even I would do. You know, I, I, I'm out somewhere, I see a couple of guys following me. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm a self defense teacher. Bring it on. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, okay, I got these guys on me. Is there a company there? Is there a security officer? I got too much fluids to get into any sort of situation. Now, as far as uh, trapped, and there's two on one, it depends on the dynamic. Um, we'll be this. Now, if it was a situation and like, this is more like, oh, yeah, you're out of here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like that. And as soon as you realize we're not, we're not back at all, I would hit the button. Just like that. You're not doing that. Yeah. Only one of those fingers to get into either of those options. That's it. That's why we're not eating. We're not eating. We're just doing this. We're just taking the whole hand and throwing it. Something is going to get in. So I'm not telling you to knock both of these guys out. Um, so I want to ask you for a couple of questions. Any number of dynamics. I don't want to pretend that I have all the answers to any of the blankets. Because that's a response. If you're trapped on an elevator, now it's time to go. So you said you were interested in collecting more artists? What do we have up there? Just like, uh, yeah, we, just, we just have a top uh, uh, I can pour it just uh, uh, yeah. uh, I'll probably need some. Here no, what about the that it? No, it's a Someone first all that. That's the best way to do it. You know what? I'm going to ask my Another one? No, no. Do you have like that? I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
Somebody grab a small child. Where? No, not the So I guess she's my replacement. Yeah. 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 She wants to be here. Yeah. Sorry about that. Wait, is that the first street? <laughs> I am based out of New Brunswick, New Jersey, but I do travel to New York, um, I traveled here, um, two hours ride on the Sunday, and I went to New York, 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 I'm not trying to say here. 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 I'm not trying to say here.
you think she's going to get it? It's serious. Like, 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 it's serious. Alright, I'll pop this up and so I can see what we're doing. There we are. Alright, everybody, this is Crimson Pressure from Real Gaming. I want to say a special thank you to Pete, who was nice enough to come down from Rock Bottom Brewery with delicious beer that we got to taste for free. And he is only here for another 30 minutes, so if you're in the area, make sure you stop by. And if you're in the King of Prussia area in the future, go down to Rock Bottom Brewery. They have amazing food, they have great beer, and then it's nice. Thank you very much. Say hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to lose weight, but every time I do, I have to get to the I thought I was I should have brought this all back. I had a baby. I always say trust me. Somewhere in here. But, uh, do you know where you should stand? Do you know where you should stand? If you're in an elevator? Pull by yourself? Middle's not too bad. I don't know. Oh, really? I can check. Uh, for two reasons. Sorry. 2.4. There are tons. <laughs> <laughs> just say right now. In the middle. 2.4. Yeah, that's why it's so funny. My, my laptop is almost. Can you hit them with me? Uh, uh, the, yeah. the bandwidth of 2.4. One that actually happened. Is that what it is right now? <laughs> You're going to have this conversation. They're taking up all the channels. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're doing, doing this for our Twitch fans now. Hi, Twitch! <laughs> <laughs> or one that actually happened. I watch it. We have five people watching. You're the buttons, right? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? Never. You stand. These are the buttons. This side of the elevator, kind of on an angle, right where the doors are. As soon as I see someone enter that I don't like, I'm off. I'm gone. Side step. Yeah. Yeah. Just quickly, you know, oh, okay. This is my floor. Right off. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Um, I don't know if you guys signed up for my mailing list. I do. I send out tips like this every week. <laughs> so you can take a week. I also you know a list where I'll be. Uh, like I said, I travel for seminars. I don't care. I'll go, I'll go anywhere for anyone who wants to learn. Um, I've done full week prevention work. Shops. I've done uh, self-defense, uh, self-defense kids, uh, self-defense kids, and I'm putting together a whole program specifically for... Uh, Sorry? Yes, I did Peace Coast Comic Con. I was there both days. I actually did a panel. Self-defense with house stories. I don't want to get it, but I'm applying to do a panel for the that would be fantastic. I'm so excited. Yeah, thank you very much. I hope I get it too. Um, so, oh, okay, yeah. We're running a panel for all the people. It's a really good one. So, yeah. And they're feeling really good. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think they would love to do it. Yeah.
I think so. I think I'm the only one doing it. I'm the only one doing it. Okay. I don't run. Okay. I don't have to play with Okay. 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 I'm not anymore, thankfully. I used to run with the scratch. I used to work as a master, which is a guaranteed way to run the nature. Actually, it's not bouncing anymore. I got once I got out of that world, I'm like never again. I'm going to go back to it. The last time I think I ever had any problems with the when I didn't go, I wasn't in the nicest area, so I wanted to situations that I wanted to myself in. Since I met my, my wife, I haven't had any problems. I've got more to lose now, so I try to I do everything I can to avoid it. Well, you know, being trained and knowing what I'm capable of gets you to that point where it's like I know what I can bring to the team. I don't want to go there. And then you've done that. Don't want to do it again. No, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, you know what, man? Good for you. Seriously, good for you. I didn't have a lot of choices. A lot of the times it was five months. And, you know, I wish I knew as I wish I knew when I was a teenager what I knew what I knew what I knew what I knew. I've come to realize that one of the many of them were stuff as the table when you're taking five exactly to get them up on. I wish I knew that then. I don't know what I would have done because there was still five of them. Hi folks, how are we doing? Um one of the kind of things for them, they were all on the Jersey Shore beach guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first one that swam, I hit me. Yeah, I hit me up there. I hit it. The other three were like, that's not cool, man. Yeah, that's not. I'm like, it's four on one. I'm not punching. I'm going for kill shots. Like, there's four of you and one of me. I'm breaking limbs. I'm going to kill shots. That's what they say. I'm sorry. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's for you and one of me. I'm broke, kneecaps, elbows. I'm breaking them. That, that's.